I used to watch, when I was starting out in comedy, I would watch this Dave Grohl clip where uh-huh. he's like, it was for people like aspiring musicians. It's like, what, what should you do if you're an aspiring musician? He's like, just play live, man. Just play live, okay. you know? And that's okay. what I would do. I would just go and I would just play the drums as hard as I could. Yeah. And I equated that to comedy. I'm like, just <laughs> just tell jokes, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But it, it was like inspiring. Like he is a very inspiring I mean, on, on that note, you guys used to inspire the shit out of me at the Westside Comedy Club. Oh, thanks, yeah. man. That's so nice, man. You've told yeah. us that before. It really yeah. means a lot. Yeah, yeah. thank you. I must thank reiterate. You. Yeah, back in those days, I, you know, I that was super just not confident. And, bro, the, the I feel like the Westside Comedy Theater, everyone really knew each other. Yeah. I feel like yeah. you stood out when you didn't know anyone. Mm-hmm. That was a good, that, and a lot of different cliques would go to that one. Mm-hmm. Like some, uh, shows or mics, it would be just one click. And yeah. the Westside Comedy Theater was like, it's like the beginning of the Warriors where all the different gangs came <laughs> yeah, together. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I would just stand on the back wall and I'd watch you guys go up there and just crush. Oh, oh, yeah. Dude. I remember you had a set. It was it was like towards the end. I think you were like 18th or something. There yeah. were not many people there and you went up there and like you just ripped for three minutes and I just was like, man, I'm bad at this. I, like, oh, I just wanted no. to leave. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah dude oh thank you man yeah. I, I appreciate that yeah man Look. yeah I mean, those are it is funny you always see comics talking about who are like farther ahead like i always see like ralphie may yeah had like this video where he's talking about how to get into comedy and mm. they always talk about open mics like that they're like that was the time yeah and you're sort of like you're in open mics and I, and I loved it because it's like you work on new stuff every day and it's like the getting people to laugh it's like such a cool feeling mm-hmm. when it's so new yeah but you're sort of like, well, how could, how could like touring, not uh, like be less fun than right? Or what am I trying to say? Like, how, how could this be the best time compared to like? Yes, yeah. But it is true. It's like that that feeling where you're just like new and mm-hmm. and just working on stand up and like starting to like get people to laugh. It's like the best feeling. Yeah. And then the the camaraderie is just so so much fun. Yeah, when you can get something to hit at an open mic, it's like. <sighs> okay yeah Yeah, especially if it's not like dirty or like uh yeah yeah. or like really brutal yeah yeah then you're like whoa this joke is yeah it must work it's ready for tv yeah yeah, 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 yeah. (laughs) i made all these like because because at open mics the comics they only want to laugh at like the most yeah brutal inhumane yeah (laughs) like something awful has to have happened to you yeah and so if you can make a joke about like pineapples and it works you're like okay yeah Yeah, i have something this is it (laughs) Yeah. yeah man you know what I always loved was like at the random mics when an actor who was just trying comedy would go up. They always stuck out to me because they're always like just way better looking than everyone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and I don't, I don't know why those characters always just made me laugh. Like they get up there and be like, so I'm fucking this chick. And I'm like, no one relates to that here. Yeah. Dude. <laughs> well, everyone else there like knew the assignment and would just stonewall them. Yeah. yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. They'd be like, let's see if you can handle this good looking person. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were so unaccustomed to failure that they'd be like, you'd see them in real time, like <laughs> yeah, have to just... deal with life. And then you're like, yeah, it sucks. Huh, bro? It sucks. Yeah. And they're all mad tall. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they're they're just strapping yeah. but then some of those dudes would come back you'd be like all right yeah you're a real one yeah, yeah. It, it was funny seeing those guys too because like their go-to almost always was the like it's tough being so hot yes yeah you yeah. know it's like yeah. it's like it, it's like you know i'm just so hot and no one takes me seriously <laughs> and but they're at an open mic for stand-up comedy oh, yeah. and everyone's like and they're like, yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. No one takes me seriously. Yeah, the, the unified stone wall is so good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we'd all just look at each other. Linking arms. We, we know what yeah. we're doing here. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you shall not pass. Yeah, yeah. Go audition for Euphoria, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> their Toro was cod. Yeah. Yeah. I'm allergic, so. Are you are? To yeah, fish? All to, fish? To seafood. Man. That's it. To seafood? Yeah. Yep. Wow. To seafood. Can you be near it? I can be near it. I, I I have to, it's like super mild. It's just a very annoying allergy. Like I'd have to eat a whole fish to go anaphylactic. How uh, old were you when you discovered it? My mom used to force feed it to me. And then when I was like having a reaction, I'd tell her like my throat's closing. She w- just would not believe me. Wow. Yeah. Damn. She'd be like, no, keep going. Yeah. She's trying to toughen you up? Yeah. Dude, have you seen uh, Bud Crawford's mom? Have you no, seen those clips? No. Oh, bro, you got to see it. So you know Terrence Crawford? Yeah, yeah. Dude, his mom is like the most savage mom that ever lived. <laughs> she, she, we could, we could watch the clip, but she used to be like, she'd be like, she would 
put a bounty on Bud in the neighborhood and she would pay kids 10 bucks if they could beat Bud up. And then she was like, none of them could though. And then Bud's like, all I ever wanted was her love and she never gave it to me. And the interviewer's like, what would you tell him? And she was like, that he wasn't going to be shit. Oh my it's God. Pretty, yeah, it's pretty insane. Holy shit. And he's like pretty healthy about it. I mean, he talks about it in a healthy way, but he's like, it put a rage in me. I just wanted to prove to her, like I would destroy the world to prove to her that I was enough. Yeah. And he says it very like plain and without emotion, but yeah. you can see it when he's fighting. You're like, yeah, you seem pissed off. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's how you raise an absolute machine of a human, whether it's a boxer or a CEO, just tell your wife to not love the son. I think it's more effective if it comes from the mom. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Because from the dad, you almost expect it. Mm -hmm. And from the mom, it's more of like a... Yeah, if your mother's like, you're worthless. It's, yeah. Because then you you go your whole life and you're like, I'm worthless. And then uh, you, yeah, you just don't think you're worthy ever. So you do all this extra stuff to be worthy. Your son just put on an amazing performance tonight. How do you feel, Debra? What does this mean to you? I'm proud and I'm happy. He always told me he could do it. He always going to be a pro boxer. He went out there and he drew his mama from. Bro, she has been a coach since day one. Yeah. This is how coaches speak about yeah. their, ten- about their fighters. Their Maybe man. we're harder on her because she's a mom because it seems like a violation of nature. But like if it was like Custom Auto talking about Tyson, You'd be like, I think he was pretty, but we'd yeah. be like, that's what he needed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so in a way, maybe she just saw the talent in him. She's like, nah. I can't give it to him. But yeah. paying neighborhood kids to beat up your son is pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. It's like a level of like just uh, harshness that I, I've never even heard of. Yeah, it's an, it's another clip. If we want to watch it, it's it's, it's a it's pretty amazing. I just yeah, I got to see this. Like I got to see him go. It put a rage in me. I think it's the top right one on the video. Yeah, I think it's this one. Nah. It's like a one minute one somewhere, probably on like TikTok or something. We could find it on the break and then drum yeah. it back up. But yeah, it was pretty wild. Yeah, you you boxed for a minute. No, I mean I I I've trained it, trained, I've sparred yeah. a couple times, but I'm I'm I don't have much power and I have heavy feet, so I don't think I'm well this. designed yeah. for a genuine. Co- I do like doing it though. Like I'll box friends once in a while because it does make me feel closer to them afterwards. Like me and my brother. For my 30th, he boxed me, which was really fun. Yeah. And Did you go headgear, mouthpiece? Yeah, headgear, mouthpiece, the whole thing. I tried it when I was in high school. I would box, and I was training for a while, and then I was at a party, and I was a sophomore, and this kid who was a freshman, Ryan, he had a reputation for being tough. Everyone was like, he's the toughest freshman. Mm. But we were about the same size. I was like, I'll fuck him up. Let's box. He did not want to fight me. I was like, Ryan, box me. Every, they started boxing at this party. I was like, box me. He's like, nah. I was like, box me. He finally, the peer pressure, he was like, all right. We got in there. He threw one punch. I slipped. He threw another punch. Connected. I fell off a ledge. I went into convulsions, and I woke up like five hours later at the hospital. And then he was in the hospital crying because he thought he killed me. So really, who won? Ah, <laughs> ah that'd be crazy. You walk about. You wake up out of there. You're like, look at you crying like a little bitch. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> look at you, so, you pussy. <laughs> at that point, I was like, I was like, oh yeah, I'm probably not gonna be a boxer, but I wanted to. I liked it. Yeah. 